everywhere atoms, molecules, and particles. Now, if I was to reach out and grab one of these particles, watch, I take it from here, I throw it in there, grab it, a little squeeze and a wave, and it becomes a solid object. In this case, a coin. I take the coin from here, squeeze it, becomes nothing. And if I reach out, it comes straight back. Place it in the hand, it squeezes it, it vanishes and ends up behind my knee. You can also take the coin, pass it through this elbow to that elbow, and then back to that elbow over here. Now, if I take the coin from here, place it into my pocket, I reach out, it comes straight back. Place the coin into the pocket, I then reach out and it comes straight back. But watch, because all these atoms, molecules and particles are all different sizes. You can place it in the hand and it becomes a smaller coin. But look, it then becomes large again. And it's large on both sides, just like that. You can rub it like so and it becomes small, but then you can also stretch and it becomes a large coin. Watch it become to small back to large. And that is how you make a coin go from small to large to large to small. I then take my hat, off of my head like so, and I place the coin in the hat, and it passes straight through the hat. Then again, into the hat. I throw it in the air, and it lands in the hat, and it passes through the hat. If I take the coin, watch that coin, and I squeeze it, it then becomes a particle. It disappears into nothingness. It is now in the air with all the other atoms. Yo, Dan Tricks here, doing tricks for you from all these fantastic books to make your world that little bit more interesting. So how you doing? I hope you're well. So I hope you enjoyed my one coin routine there, which I've been working on over the last sort of week or so. I think I'm getting a little bit smoother at some of the moves. So let me know what you think to that. But today, we're gonna to be getting into Harry Lorraine's Apocalypse. Well, look at that. What a B U tea packed full of fantastic tricks i've had this book on my shelf for years i took it off my shelf the other day and i thought let's have a little flick through and i found a lovely little routine which i'm going to share with you a bit later on so i hope you're going to enjoy that but first of all i want to share an effect with you again that i posted a while ago and i really really like this effect and it is from the title of course in magic volume five no cards no coins now I know I've never seen an effect like this one before and you probably haven't either. Let's get into it and see what you think. I'll see you after. Okay, for this little effect, we have an empty box. And as you can see, I used it for my uh, business cards. I'm now using it for this effect. You can see it's completely empty. I then have a piece of silk, an empty glass, and a glass of milk. The glass of milk goes inside the box, just like so. The glass of milk is actually going in there, just in case you think I'm oh, cheap. So I place it in here, like so. I then take the silk, place the silk inside the glass. I then take an old piece of old newspaper, completely normal. I take the piece of silk, in fact, let's put the piece of silk in here, and we'll take the glass of milk from here and place it in the newspaper, like so. And in fact, what we'll do is we'll just rub the glass with the newspaper. And as you can see, the milk has now turned hmm, into the silk. And in fact, in the box is in fact the glass of milk. And the box is completely empty. And just in case you think I'm cheating, I'll show you that in fact, the milk is real just in case that went past your eyes. Past your eyes. <laughs> no, no. So there you have it. What a lovely effect. I think it's really nice, different. I've never seen an effect like that before. Um, maybe you have, but that was actually called Buckley's Milk and Silk Transposition. And that's on page 35 of the Turbo Course in Magic, volume five. And now I'm gonna get into Apocalypse, Harry Lorraine's Apocalypse. What a fantastic book. This is amazing. Now I really, really like this effect. And so, uh, cool Dan will be filming the cool stuff. Won't you, Dan? Yeah, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, 
And you've got something nice from this book for us today. Yeah, something cool. Yeah, I would say it's pretty cool. Not as cool as what I do, though. Mm, no, cooler. Cooler than what you do, definitely. No, no, it isn't, it isn't. Yeah, 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 it is, yeah. Let's get into it. What a lad, what a lad. Okay, so let's get... Okay, so let's get into this effect. Okay, so this first effect is a classic in magic. It uses four American half dollars. The glass, by the way, will come into play in a moment's time. So these four coins are placed in a square formation. Now I could cover the coins like this, but I'm just gonna wiggle my fingers and one of the coins travels. Watch the next coin travel over to there and then the last one travels to join the other three. Okay, now this is the effect from the book. We'll take these American half dollars and also this time we'll be using a glass. We'll take one, two, three, four coins in the hand. Watch the first coin travel to the glass. That's coin number one. Watch coin number two travel up the arm, across the shoulder, down the other arm, and into the glass. That's two coins there and two coins over there. We'll take coin number three and it travels to join the other two coins. That's the third coin to go across. That's one, two, and of course, three coins in the glass. What's coin number four? It takes a little bit longer, but it does get there in the end. And that's one at a time. And now, of course, all at once. And that is coins to glass. There you have it. The first trick there, coin matrix. I learned certain moves from different people and that is the routine that I came up with. Easy to watch coin routine, but very visual. So let me know what you think to that. And also coins to glass by Steve Hamilton. That is on page 2379. A lot of numbers. It's a great book. It's got so much information in it. The only thing I will say is it doesn't tell you the effect first. So you have to read it realize and know what the effect actually is but through that it doesn't matter there's all sorts in it i mean look at, look at the size of that that's a whole lifetimes of magic in there so thanks for watching today guys please if this is the sort of content you like make sure you subscribe and press the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos you don't want to miss any of them well it's all about having fun please smash that like button because i'd really really appreciate it Peace and love. Keep the magic real. See you next time.